over 50 years, Cool and the Gang have been essential innovators of funk, soul, disco, and R&B, creating rock and roll's most danceable anthems. They are one of the grooviest and most sampled bands of all time, with a sound that resonates across generations and has brought joy to millions of fans around the globe. We gon' celebrate your party with you. Come on now. Formed in Jersey City, New Jersey in 1964, Robert Cool Bell and his brother Ronald, Robert Spike Mickens, Dennis D.T. Taylor, Ricky West, George Brown, and Charles Smith all sought to perform together as an instrumental jazz and soul group at the local theaters. Growing through several name changes, the group mastered a repertoire of jazz standards and Motown covers. In 1969, they signed to newly formed D-Light Records and released the up-tempo instrumental Cool in the Gang. They subsequently released two live albums showcasing their ability to produce brilliantly crafted songs and blistering jams over an infectious beat. Get down, 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 get down. Their big break came in 1973 with the album Wild and Peaceful, which leaned into deep, funky grooves, horn arrangements, and chanted vocals. At the time, disco was making a splash in the New York scene with pulsating drums, syncopated bass lines, and a groove that made everyone want to get up and dance. With their hits, Funky Stuff, Jungle Boogie, and Hollywood Swingin', Cool and the Gang slid easily into the growing disco scene, even making an appearance on the Saturday Night Fever soundtrack with Open Sesame. Their success in the disco scene was short-lived. As Robert Bell described it, the group was, quote, too fancy and over-creative. We got away from the basic cool in the gang sound, and the public didn't like it. By the end of the 1970s, cool in the gang were declining in commercial success. It was time for a reinvention. As they headed into the next decade, Cool and the Gang added dedicated lead vocalist James J.T. Taylor, creating a focal point for their music. This addition, as well as working with Brazilian musician Eomir Diodato, the group took their funky groove all the way to the top, mixing pop songwriting, fantastic vocals, and a killer horn section. This new lineup produced their most commercially successful album yet, with two top 10 hits, the bumping Ladies Night and the smooth Too Hot the album went platinum in a matter of four months. It's ladies night, and girl, the feeling's good. Oh, yes, it's ladies night, and the feeling's right. Oh, yes, it's ladies night, oh, what a night. Oh, what a night. Inspired by the promotional Ladies Nights, which bars and clubs marketed to bring in more women, Cool and the Gang rejuvenated their career, melding elements of funk and Latin groove. On disco lights, your name will be seen. The popularity of this song led to their next and most culturally significant song of their catalog. We go celebrate and have a good time. After accepting two American Music Awards for Ladies' Night, Ronald Bell spent the evening chanting the catchy lyric, Come, let's all celebrate. The lyric stuck as he began writing the chords. Credited as a collaborative effort, Cool and the Gang blew the roof off with the timeless hit, Celebration. Cool and the Gang's newfound success led to the band achieving something rare in the music industry, maintaining the fans who loved their funky roots while reaching an entirely new audience tuned in to their growing pop sensibilities. Throughout the years. Cool and the Gang's legacy on the music world goes beyond celebration. Their grooves, catchy hooks, and upbeat feeling laid the foundation for some of hip-hop's biggest artists. 
It is estimated that over 1,800 songs from hip-hop artists including Eric B. and Rakim, Tupac, Lil' Kim, and Jay-Z have sampled Cool and the Gang's music. They have become an inspiration for a revival of funk, with artists like Mark Ronson and Bruno Mars using grooves that throw back to the height of Cool and the Gang's most influential period. Cool and the Gang's impact cannot be understated, and their induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is worthy of a celebration. Come on and get down.